Jason here at the bench. We've got it's an Origin 50. All right, so you might have seen the Head First Origin 20 mod. I've published a handful of videos on modding the Origin 20 about a year ago. All right, and a number of people have made that mod to their Origin 20s, and quite a few have done it with their 50s as well. So today, given I've got a 50 in here from a customer to do the head first mod on it. I thought I'd document um, a little bit about how I go about doing it and note any changes or differences from the Origin 20. Um, so stick around. So here we are, this is the Origin 50. It looks very similar to the 20. The preamp is pretty much all the same. The difference between the 20 and the 50 is the 50 is a fixed bias set up right so both of them are el34 powered but the origin 20 is cathode bias running if i can remember about 380 volts on the plates i think we'll have to check my previous video on that to confirm but this is a genuine 50 watt amp i haven't measured any voltages in here yet we'll do that um once the mod's in but you can see the uh the trim pot here right which is always a giveaway that this is a fixed bias amp much larger transformers compared to the 20 as you would expect but this has come from the same factory no doubt about that it looks almost identical in every other way um, so to do the mod what we're going to do is well what i do is i pull this main board out because um, we want to get in here and remove a bunch of components and we need to reroute some of the signal path, which I would normally do by running some wires uh, underneath the board so it's nice and tidy and out of the way. So here's the board out, right? Comes out relatively easily. Um, Bear in mind when you remove all these spade connectors, use some pliers and actually grip the terminal with the spade connector with the pliers. If you just pull the wires with your hand, you'll probably pull them straight off the connector and the connector will still be sitting on the spade terminal, which is not very handy. Um, I'm going to use my desoldering gun to get these components out. If you don't have one, um, you can remove these by hand um, some people just clip them out right just cut them out which kind of works as well but i've got the tools so i'm going to use them So let's 
just go through what I've taken out, right? So this is all ready for modding now. It's a bit of work getting all this stuff out, right? But I have done it with the desoldering gun, so it's pretty clean. And all of the holes are clear, ready for any uh, any of the new parts to, to go in. All right, so let's go through it. Um, I will point out a couple of things that I have noticed that are different in the Origin 50. Um, those who have already done the Origin 50 mod using my Origin 20 blueprint will probably already know this, right? So all of this comes out. All right, so these five components here. Um, the instructions around the Origin 20 actually lists all these components, right? So I'm not going to read them all out. Let me just bring them up on the camera here. So all of this comes out. This guy here on the end, end it's a cathode resistor for V1A. All of this, this guy, this capacitor here, C, what is it? C65 is not on the Origin 20, right? That is um, a capacitor that's coming off the cathode here, going to ground. So it's bleeding some high end to ground in the Origin 50. So <clears throat> it's underneath the tube socket here, right? So you can't you can't get underneath it. So you might have seen in the time lapse potentially. I just it was it's a little yellow cap like this, but about half the size. You just wiggle it back and forward, it'll snap straight off. And that's all you need to do, because you just want to get rid of that. Um, this resistor here is gone. This uh, small electrolytic cap here, which is a bypass cap for the cathode resistor. Likewise, this one here. I missed that. All right, all these four come out. One, two, three resistors and uh, a capacitor there. All of these four come out. There's four resistors in a row there. One, two, three, four. They all come out. Okay. C30 comes out. Okay. This resistor here, which is R65, I think. Um, this is a 220K uh, carbon film resistor. That's come out because we're going to put 100K in there. This R8, right, this is a bit new. I haven't done this. I didn't do this on the Origin 20, but I am going to preempt this on the Origin 50 because I know from conversation that the preamp voltages for V2 and V1 are very high in the Origin 50. Um, Marshall didn't actually change the dropping resistors that much, or if at all from the Origin 20, but the plate voltages are a lot higher in the Origin 50, right? So this was a 4K7 um, resistor here. Uh, these are three watt resistors, which is a bit overkill, but that's cool. I'm gonna put a different value in here. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna start with 22K, maybe work down to 10. I haven't decided yet, but it's not gonna be 4K7. It'll be somewhere between 10 and 20. And I'll put it just up, got some two watt resistors. Um, I'll be putting those in there, the same ones that I use in all my builds, actually. Um, if I have missed anything, I will attempt to point it out as we go. I did, of course, forget a few things. I've just taken them out now. Um, so these three resistors here, 52, 51 and 53, they've all come out. C50, that's come out, and uh, R54, I think it is, this resistor right on top of um, V2. You've got to remove it from the top. You can't get to it from the bottom. I think that's us now. I'm going to start now putting um, the new components and the new layout. And remember with the head first mod on the origin if you're familiar with it or if you're not what we basically do is we repurpose v2 so in the origins 20 and the 50 v2 is used to power the effects loop or drive the effects loop i should say right so this side of v2 is the send stage and this side 
this triode is the recovery or return stage. So this mod disables the effects loop because we're going to use these two triodes as part of the core amp signal path, right? So your signal will come in to V1A, which is the first triode, first gain stage, to the gain, to the gain pot, out of the gain pot into the second gain stage. And then we come over to this side of V2, which is the third gain stage, and then to this side of V2A as the cathode follower. And then from there, we go out to the tone stack. Okay, so it's it's a 2203-2204 JCM800 architecture is what we mod this to. And the reason that you know normally you'd see your signal path go, you know, this triode, this triode, this triode, this triode. The reason we kind of jump onto this side and then come back to this side is because the way the origins are set up to drive the effects loop is the cathode follower stage is the send side for your effects loop, right? So rather than use a cathode follower setup um, to drive the effects loop, we're using the cathode follower to drive the tone stack like you would see in a 2203-2204 JCM800. All right, I have put all of the mod components in. There's quite a lot to go through, so I'll try and get through it uh, relatively briefly. Um, I did end up removing this as well, C51. Take that out. Okay. And in terms of new components, right. Here. 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 And here. All right. So that resistor, that cap, that resistor and that cap set up the cathodes for V1A and V1B. This is a new coupling cap here. It's a 2N2. Okay. Um, over to the uh, V2. Okay. This is an 820R in at R54 here. 820R. It's a new cathode resistor for this triode. Okay. This is a 22 nanofarad cap. I'm just using Wilmer caps here. Probably see that on the video, maybe. I'll get the light right. This is a 22 nanofarad. Here, this is 470K and a 470K. Well, these are 475K, actually. But, yeah, 470K, 470K. With a 470 picofarad uh, triple bypass cap on there. Okay. Now, I won't go into all the details of this because this is the same as the Origin 20 mod. If you want to, you know, released two or three videos on all the in, ins and outs of that. I just wanted to show you, you know, kind of... Um, how these mods fit into the Origin 50. So, so far, it's all kind of the same, right? Um, back over here, and the reason I kind of jumped to here, because I said, remember, we our signal flow is from V1A, V1B, and then it goes to V2B, and then from V2B to V2A. 100K resistor right here. You, you jump to those pads, the reason we do that is because that gives this guy a ground reference. This is your 100k uh, cathode resistor to ground. I've got a 470 picofarad ceramic cap on it to ground. This is just shaving a little bit of um, top end out of the amp. It's optional, right? If you really want to, you know, all guns blazing, brighter amp, you um, can leave that off. Now, this customer wants my uh, three-way Jose diode clipping option on uh, the Origin mod. So um, I'm setting this up for that. Okay, so you can have a look at the Jose clipping video that I did for the Origin 20, which talks about all of that and how it works, right? But while I've got the board out, um, I'm obviously going to do all that work. If you're not implementing the Jose mod, then you wouldn't have this arrangement here with this 10k resistor and this coupling cap here, which I'm using uh, 0.22 microfarad coupling cap there. <laughs> okay, um, I have changed out this dropping resistor here, R8. I've got a 22k 2 watt resistor in there 
at the moment. I'll tune that to taste right once we get the voltages up on the amp and I do some measurements. I might end up taking that down a bit, maybe as low as 10k, but I think 22k based on... Um, I've had a look at the circuit. I, I think that's going to be okay for the voltages I want here, V2 and uh, sorry, V1 and V2. This 220k resistor came out and we replaced it with 100k. Okay, this is the plate resistor for uh, the V2B gain stage. Okay, moving along. This is all pretty much left as is, um, I've got my fixed depth arrangement here. Okay, so this is a um, existing negative feedback resistor in R50. You lift one side of it up and I'll put in a 220K and a 4N7 ceramic here. This gives you a fixed depth arrangement. Again, this is already detailed in the Origin mod, so I don't need to go into the guts of it. There's always one more thing, C32. Right, this uh, 10 microfarad electrolytic, this guy, he's got to come out as well. All right, so I forgot about that one. Let me check my notes. He's got to come out as well, right? So I've already been through all of the other detail here. I'm not going to uh, redo it, but yeah, C32, I had forgotten. Let's flip it over and see what's going on underneath the board because the... Uh, the comments that uh, I have read, questions I've got regarding the Origin 50 compared to the Origin 20, often relates to what's going on under here. So um, if you look at the Jose Mod uh, documentation that I've got on the website, I mean, you can have a look at the YouTube video as well, but the documentation on the website, you'll see a photo of the back of the board looks very similar to this but let's just talk it through and I'll talk about these jumpers here and also what's going on with this piece of coax. Um, this header here is where your game pot comes back into the board right so it goes off this header takes this, your guitar signal off the board to the game pot and the tilt um, and then it comes back onto the board on the same header and it comes in here, this track. So this yellow wire here is bridging, connecting us from the output of the game port straight over to the input of V1B, right? This is the grid of V1B. So that, that connects us out from the game port straight into this triode. Um, this track here from the same triode from V1B, this is the plate. You can think of that as the output, right? That's the plate resistor. But this is the track here that's carrying the amplified signal from the plate. And this connector here is, rather than, rather than in the stock origin, that would go out to the tone stack. What we want to do is we want to run it into V2B. So this yellow wire here is bridging us from this very outer terminal all right across into this point here which is the bottom of this capacitor this is the 22 nanofarad okay so this is basically our coupling cap so we're going from the output of v1b through that coupling cap there okay and then that coupling cap there comes out on this side and it connects into this 475, 475 voltage divider here, right? And then into the grid of this gain stage. Okay. Um, this yellow wire here is connecting uh, V2A into the equation. This is our cathode follower. And we're going to use this cathode follower arrangement on this triode to drive the tone stack. As I said, just like you would in a 2203, 2204 classic Marshall circuit. So this guy here is connecting the plate to the grid. Okay, plate to the grid straight there. Those are the only three connections you actually need if you're not doing the Jose clipping mod. This piece of coax here, which I've got tapped off this arrangement right here. 
again, you can have a look at the uh, Jose clipping video for the details of that. But I've got it set that way because I'm going to run my three-way mini toggle uh, clipping switch for the diodes. We're going to have that on the rear of the amp so that the front of the amp uh, continues to look stock. Um, I think this is ready to go into the amp now, guys, and we'll complete the um, complete the mod, see if we can get it up and running. All right, she's reassembled. A um, couple of tips, I guess, right? So having done a few of these now, and I know folks that have, you know, done this themselves, right? Many, many people have, and successfully, which is awesome. But a few people have had teething problems, and... I have two, right, with a couple of amps, this one as well. What it was, took me a little, you know, a few seconds to figure it out. Um, one of the tri one of the pads, right, these PCBs are pretty fragile. They're, they're not bad, right, but they're, they're a bit fragile. And um, sometimes you will smoke uh, a trace or a pad, right, from, you know, removing the component or putting the new one in and you'll lose connectivity, right? So you'll think that your component is soldered in and it's not. It's just kind of sitting in a hole and it's not connected. So if you complete the mod and you go, oh God, I've got no sound, right? Disaster. Well, 100% of the time it'll be because there's a missing connection. And uh, as I said, that's most likely from one of the new components that's gone in has uh, you just don't have con you don't have continuity right so the only way to check for that you've got to use your meter right so use your you know use your continuity checker um, look for breaks in the circuit that's the only way to do it. All right, the Origin 50. We've got the basic head first mod in here as per the Origin 20. No diode clipping in here yet and no effects loop. This is just the core mod. So let's see how it's sounding. I've just got this running in the room here into uh, underneath the bench here is a 2x12 cabinet. It's a Sir 2x12, it's the PT15 uh, signature cab. It's got a green back and a V30, but we just got phone audio here, guys. So just really want to give you a, a quick idea as to what this thing's sounding like now. All the controls are at midday. So let's bring this game up to about 3 p.m. Um, I'm going to bring the triple back a little bit, bring the bass up about 2 p.m. Bring the presence back a little bit. Again, up even further. Let's just dime it all the way. This will have diode clipping put into it for even more compression. We'll put one of our effects loop boards in it and um, I reckon the customer who bought the for me to mod should be pretty happy. We'll catch you next time guys. <laughs>